is Kate. Welcome to Copern to Narcissist 101. Thank you for joining me. Haven't subscribed? Please do. Don't forget to like and share as well. Guys, why did the covert narcissist marry the new supply? Why did the covert narcissist marry the new supply? And this is after maybe they refused to get married while we were with you. Or uh, they were married. You guys were married. And then they immediately, weeks or months, jumped into another marriage as they're coming out of uh, the one you have with them. Why did they do this? One of, one, of, one of them, of course, guys, is that they are trying to solidify something here with a new supply. They you know that there's something that they want, you know, obviously it's money. So some assets that they want. So to help, as they're in this love bomb phase, to really tie this person down, yeah, they get married right away. So they can, you know, have access to this, uh, the funds or whatever it is that this person has. Two, of course, is that they are preparing for the truth to come out, your truth to come out. And they're trying to save image. What this means is, guy, you know, now that the relationship is over, you are obviously trying to explain or tell people exactly what was going on in your household that, you know, you weren't talking about before. So they prepare by marrying somebody because when this comes out, whatever you're going to tell them, which of course means, okay, this is how horrible of a person they are, um, is like, okay, how did they find somebody to marry right away? Obviously, they can't be that bad, you know. Somebody loved them enough to marry them like real quick you know so maybe what you're saying is not completely right so this is the preparation they do this to prepare for this because when your truth comes out to save their face save the image to preserve their image whatever it is they have going on outside people will be question second guessing what you're saying like uh there's somebody else already in their life and they're married so obviously they are very lovable people and number two, guys, and number three, rather, is what I call supporting uh, documents for the smear campaign. You know, they're already going, they're throughout your relationship, they're already telling people you're crazy, this and this and that. So, them marrying somebody else is to show that, especially if they didn't marry you, or um, they refuse to get married while, you're, while they're with you, is you see, he, was, he or she was crazy, and you know, this and this was happening. See, that's why I didn't get married to them, because obviously, I, I, I want to get married. I want to be married. So when I found somebody that is my soulmate, now I'm married. So clearly the problem is with you because that's the whole campaign is that something is wrong with you. The, their whole campaign, smear campaign was something is wrong with you. So then marry somebody right away or after however long is to tell people, you know, I'm, this is what I was telling you guys in the smear campaign. This is what I was telling you guys about this person. See, I, I found somebody that is not crazy, that is not controlling you know, and I, and I married them. So clearly you are the problem. So this, this marrying somebody quickly or marrying somebody else right behind you when they didn't want to marry you, to me, is a, it's like supporting document, you know, for the smear campaign. Another one, of course, is good old, they're trying to make you jealous, you know, like I said. Especially when you, if you're the one that, you know, got up and left the relationship, like, you know, you figured out what's going on and you're like, you know what, I'm out of here. I can't give you any more years. Uh, for you to drive me insane i'm gonna go and take my chance out there this is when they now you know you drop front you you jump the uh, uh protocol here so they're gonna like uh, find something real quick to do so now if they if you were married to them now they're married or you were married to them right after the divorce is over the ink is not even dry they are in another relationship they are not another married this is of course to make you jealous now while a covert narcissist would think that them making uh, taking on liability or making um, a permanent a decision for a temporary problem supposed to affect you. I don't know, but this is what they think. <laughs> this is what they think. Another one, guys, of course, is the new supply is missing all the signs, especially if they didn't marry them right away. You know, they live with them a little bit. Um, the marriage didn't happen immediately and they still continue to, you know, get married to these people. Is the cover the new supply is missing all the signs that they should have seen, especially if they're living with them or dating them for a while, that they still continued, or you know, they've already beaten them down, you know, long enough for them to agree to still stay in the relationship and move, move on from the boyfriend girlfriend to marriage, you know. So, so new supply might be like, uh, they didn't they're missing all the signs, they're missing all the, re missing all the red flags, and then yeah, they jump on to get married even after they've you know had maybe years to see what's going on there but they still went on to marry them you know so these are some of the reasons guy that the covert narcissist jumps into marriage right after you whether they've promised you marriage whether they said we're going to get married or whether you, they, you were married and a few weeks after you, the divorce is over they're already married all right guys 
get a hold of your mind and everything has to fall into place.